third tip on uh, hosting better celebrations is work on developing your talent. Um, obviously, usually you have a couple guys that work with you. I call them talent. Um, work on you know their skills. Try to develop their own, their skills as to becoming either a better MC, a better mixer, um, you know, better light, you know, tech. Try to work a better you know roadie even. Work on developing their talent. Work hard with them. Obviously, you want to do this training at your office, at your home. You don't want to do it live at an event. So you want to train them so they can learn how to um, work better for you and actually increase your celebration. What I mean by that is let's say you have a certain way that you mix. You have a certain style that you like music to be played. You know in your area this is what we like to do. So if you work with that music mixer, you know, um, he'll understand and he'll start to begin to play the same way that you do. So once you have a strong guy that plays exactly the same way that you picture in the mind, because you can work with a great DJ, but if he doesn't really mix the same way that you're looking for to motivate, if he's not really playing the right songs, it doesn't matter if he's the best DJ in the world, it doesn't really work for you. So you have to work with someone that, you have to be able to train someone that can think the same way you do. And then once they know exactly how to mix and how to do everything, they can grow, and then um, you know your parties will be better because you have two people thinking on the same level thinking about the same exact uh, music programming. Uh, with a roadie, you know, obviously if you train them well, you don't have to work as hard, you know, to set up. So you're a little bit more rested, you're a little bit more energetic for your celebration. So if you have a roadie that knows how to set up every single thing, then you know you get to relax a little bit more. And then you throw a better celebration. So work on developing your uh, talent. Fourth tip on uh, hosting a better celebration is for yourself. Master your own trade. Obviously, you're a great MC, you're a great DJ. Become better. There's always room for improvement. Um, as a DJ, I mean, that's simple. Just practice, practice, practice. Make sure you try to stay tuned to new songs. Um, you know, don't always just rely on promo only. There's a lot of different sources for music now. Um, try to listen to the radio every once in a while. Uh, that's one of my biggest faults. I'm not really into uh, new music as much. I try to stay as current as possible. I talk to DJs that are friends that hook me up with music. Um, but uh, stay current. Um, and, you know, work on actually just playing out beat mixing, scratching, whatever you want to take to the next level for your uh, entertainment company, for your mixing. So work on that. Work on your emceeing skills. I know I, I slur my words a lot. I talk really fast. So I do every once in a while. Um, I do pull out some tools to uh, work on um, pronunciation and slowing down my speech, uh, pretty much tongue twisters to help me uh, talk a little clearer on the microphone when I'm talking. So, you know, work on mastering your own trade. And um, also, you know, by doing that, you could also get inspiration from others to you know, master your own trade. A thing I like to do is just go into a club, you know, or listening to the radio, a late night mix. I, I remember Ed Lover used to be on a, here in the New York metro area. Um, he used to host a like, club night and used to MC kind of the night. And he had some great raps. Like one of my favorite ones was uh, during Crazy in Love. He would say, you know, let my semen ladies bounce like Beyonce. And he, you know, mixed it into the song. And just the way he said it and where he timed it into the song, it was a great rap. And I use that whenever I drop, I haven't played that song in a while, but um, whenever I drop Crazy in Love, I always say that little rap and it works. You could really get inspiration from, you know, clubs, from lounges, from just being out in the situation where you see other people entertaining, other people um, working a crowd, throwing a celebration. Uh, my last tip on hosting a better celebration, tip number five, is to continue your education. Um, of course, there's always more to learn, so um, not only mastering your trade, but continuing learning about other things that you never really expected, whether it be, you know, taking a party planning course at colleges. A lot of colleges offer that. Hopefully next year I'm going to take one of those for myself. And uh, it might not make me a better DJ, but it'll make me understand a little bit better about the celebration as a whole and what brides are looking forward to. You know, we think so one-track mind as to they're just, you know, as a DJ portion of the celebration. Um, there's a lot of other things going on that if you look at these uh, planning shows on TV, unfortunately, that we show flowers, they show, you know, gifts and all this weird, the dress, those are things that as a DJ we lots of times don't think about. So um, it's important to brides, so, or important to uh, couples, important to people, so you should also learn about too. Become educated. Go to um, your local meetings if there's a, you know, a local state meeting of uh, DJs or, you know, local area meeting. If there's not, make one, you know. Um, you want to network with other people. Try to get, you know, a couple guys to meet maybe once every two months. 
maybe at a restaurant, maybe at a catering hall. Just talk about your trials and tribulations of being an entertainer. You can learn from others. Um, keep an open kind of door policy. Don't be negative. I, I know a lot of people that go to these monthly meetings are, you know, state that I can't learn anything from these guys. You know, they're beneath my level. You know, um, uh, don't have a big head. You know, um, doesn't matter where you are. You can always learn from someone else. And it uh, doesn't matter if, you know, biggest company in the world, smallest company, you can always learn from something, keep an open head. Try to help the people that maybe aren't as experienced as you and learn from people who are, are more experienced than you. And uh, other ways to continue education is, you know, maybe outside the DJ world as to um, editing and production. Um, learn how to make a montage if you don't know. If you know how to make a montage, learn how to make a better montage. Learn how to do titles, overlays, things like that that can, you know, add to your photo montage. Learn Photoshop, so maybe now you can edit some pictures besides just, you know, kind of throwing them into uh, your montage uh, reel. Learn how to do Photoshop and a lot of different things you can learn that are directly related to entertaining, to uh, delivering a better video production, lighting production. Learn about lighting, anything that's out there. Uh, learn, continue educating, and you're going to throw better celebrations by what you learned. So once again, this was my tip video on five tips on hosting better celebrations. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you like this, please once again subscribe, become my friend, leave comments. I like to, you know, read the comments. I like to know what you guys are interested in. If there's something that you want me to talk about, please just tell me. Send me a message or leave a comment. I'll make sure I make a tip video on that. And uh, my name is DJ Chris Atwood from Absolute Event Services. Check us out on the web, absoluteevents.biz or DJ Chris Atwood dot com and uh that's it enjoy a wonderful day dj and mc entertainment photography videography limousines known as the tri-state area's top wedding specialist absolute event services the art of unique events